Warming up isn't always the most exciting part of practice, but it's one of the most important, and it doesn't have to be boring. Just make a game of it. It's time for Ready, Set, Hike. Tell players to spread out in a line facing you, about 10 yards away. Here's how it looks. You call Ready, Ready set, set, Hike. On hike, everyone jogs in a line towards you. Once they reach you, have them line up again, jog 10 yards out, and call Ready, Set, Hike again. Hike. Repeat go, go, several go, go, times, go, 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 go. telling players to increase their running speed each round, building up to an all-out sprint. Warming up isn't always the most exciting part of practice, but it's one of the most important, and it doesn't have to be boring. Just make a game of it. It's time for Land, Air, Sea. Use cones or field markings to create a line and spread players out facing you along the line, about five yards away. Here's how it looks. Tell your players to listen closely for one of three commands. Land! Land means players jump back or behind the line. C. C means players jump forwards or over the line. And air means players jump in place. Call out different commands with increasing speed. Land! C! Land! C! Land! C! Air! <laughs> your team will be warmed up in no time. Grab as many flags as you can in this evasive running game we call Flag Attack. Use four cones to create a square space. Give each player a flag belt and tell them to spread out throughout the space. Here's how it looks. Ready, set, go! Go, 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 go! On your call, everyone runs around trying to grab as many flags as they can, holding on to all the flags they pulled. If a player loses their flags, they continue to play and replace them with ones they pull. Good spin moves! I love the spin moves! Play short rounds, about a minute long. The player with the most flags wins the round. Flag pulling is the name of the game here, and players might try anything to protect their belts. Remind them that any move that obstructs their flag from being taken is flag guarding. No covering, tucking, or swiping allowed. Do this in the actual game, and they'll be called for a holding penalty. I saw a lot of flag guarding in there. The right way to protect flags is with jukes, cutbacks, spins, and twists. So encourage players to do their best LT impression. Make sure to hold on to that flag! Players master the basics in this game we call Snap, Toss, and Tuck. Divide players into groups of three, and within each group designate a center, a quarterback, and a running back. Here's how it looks. One group at a time lines up in pistol formation with the quarterback directly behind the center and the running back five yards in the backfield. On your call, the center hikes the ball. That's the running back's cue to move both upfield and towards the sideline, taking a wide arcing route. The quarterback turns and tosses the ball to the running back, who tucks it away and sprints upfield. Each round, run the play multiple times to both sides, rotating so every player gets a chance at each position. Timing is the most challenging aspect of this game, so the QB may throw the ball too early or too late. That's why you practice. Remind running backs to watch the ball from the quarterback's hands all the way into theirs. Once they have the ball, their first step should be with the foot on the side to which they're running. Then, all that's left is to run downfield and score a touchdown. There you go, perfect. Help players master the handoff in this game we call Handoff Relay. Divide your players in half and line each group up 10 yards apart. Give the first player in one line a ball. Here's how it looks. Go. On your call, the ball carrier runs towards the first player in the other line. As they approach, that player starts to jog forward, making a window to receive a handoff. As they cross, they exchange the ball and the new ball carrier runs off towards the other line. Players continue running the ball across the space, handing it off to the next player in line and trying to keep the rhythm going without a drop. Continue playing until every player has successfully made and received several handoffs. Remember to demonstrate proper technique to receive a handoff, with the arms making a window and the elbow closest to the ball up. When handing off the ball, remind players to hand the other player the ball, rather than let them take it. They should extend their arms and place the ball firmly into the other player's body. Like that. 
Players use their speed and elusiveness to outfox each other in this fun game we call the chase. Use two cones to create a line 20 yards long. This is the runner's lane. Then place a third cone 10 yards to the side and three yards closer to the far cone. This is the chaser's lane. Divide your team into two groups, runners and chasers. Here's how it looks. And go! One runner and one chaser start sprinting. The runner is trying to reach the far cone before the chaser catches up and tags them. And go! Angle, angle, angle! Up, oh, you've gone and you over pursued him. Nice cutback, good job. Go! This game is all about finding the right angle of pursuit. Chasers should be careful not to over pursue. The runner can always use a cutback to get behind them. Less experienced players may end up trailing the runner. Remind them to constantly adjust their angle, always aiming for the runner's near hip. Great angle, good job, good job. Players learn to work together when pulling flags in this game we call defensive duos. Place two cones five yards apart. These are our starting positions. Then add a third cone placed seven yards in front of the middle of the first two. This will create a triangle shape. Choose two defenders and place them at the starting position. Place an offensive player at the third cone facing their opponents. Give each player a flag belt. Here's how it looks. Close it, good, close that middle, guys. On your call, the offensive player starts jogging in a straight line towards the defenders. The defenders each run at an angle towards the offensive player, trying to pull the flag closest to them simultaneously. This game is all about defenders learning to work as a team. If they don't run at the same speed, then they won't reach the offensive player's flags at the same time. So you want to make sure you close the middle so they can't just run through. Got it? Everyone got it? Let's work together, guys. Here we go. Any offensive player seeing two defenders charging at them is going to want to avoid them. Remind the team that this is all about defense, so no sprinting, spinning, or juking allowed. They'll have plenty of chances to outrun the defense later in practice. Players work on zone defense, speed, and agility in this game we call Down the Line. Place two cones three yards apart to create starting points. Divide your team in half, with each half lining up behind a cone. Here's how it looks. Standing between the two cones, you hold a football out in front of you. On your call, down, say, go! The first player in each line backpedals as fast as they can, keeping their eyes on the ball. After a few steps, you point the football to one side, signaling the direction you want them to open up. They do so, turning 180 degrees, then sprinting away in a straight line. When backpedaling, encourage players to lean forward and to push off the balls of their feet, with shoulders over knees and knees over toes. Remind them to keep their chin and eyes up, always focused on what the offense is doing with the ball. For 180 turns, players should open their hips, point their toe in the direction they want to go, and finally elbow the air to help bring their head and body around smoothly. Down, set, go! Back pedal, back pedal, break! Yeehaw! Players learn to defend as a team in this fast-paced game we call Crazy Corral. Use four cones to make a rectangular space. Choose three players to be defenders and send them to the middle of the space. Give everyone else a flag belt and a ball and spread them out along one side of the rectangle. Here's how it looks. One at a time, players try to cross the space with their flags intact, while the defense works together to try to corral them to the center of the field. Once every player has had a turn to run, rotate rolls and start again. The easiest way for the defense to stop the ball carrier is by moving together in a flying V. Two players positioned wide and one a bit deeper between them. This allows defenders to circle around the runner if they come up the middle or push them out of bounds if they come up the side. Remind defenders to use the sideline as an extra defender to contain the ball and cut off the escape route. Good move. Good pull, Bella. Remember, stepping out of bounds is the same as having a flag pulled. Good. Great job. Great job. Receivers find room in limited space as defenders work to stop them. It's time to play one-on-ones. Use four cones to mark a rectangular space and two more to mark off an end zone. Give a ball to the quarterback and divide the rest of the players into two groups, receivers and defenders. Here's how it looks. Down, ready, go. One receiver and one defender at a time scrimmage against each other. On the quarterback's call, down, ready, go. The offense runs their play. 
The round is over when every player has had a chance on both offense and defense. Nice job. You may find the quarterback is holding onto the ball for too long. If this keeps happening, you can institute a four-second countdown. Receivers may be tempted to go off script, improvising in the moment to beat the other player. And defenders may get caught watching the quarterback instead of their receiver. Remind them to stick to their assignment. Track it, track it, don't give up. Nice job.